हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु सक्ष परम ब्रह्मा तस्मे श्री गुरुवे Smile, welcome, friends. Uh, we are going to discuss a very important topic now: the importance of the diamond system. Diamond is one of the most powerful acupuncture developed by Professor Park Chan. Diamond system is what preserves our body. It is because of diamond system our bodies are so strong. and we maintain our posture against gravity is also because of the diamond system so let's discuss diamond system now you all all of you are now uh, working on the 6k uh many of you are working on the 6k right now and uh meridian system has been used by all of you wonderfully you are using and getting the results but remember if you see carefully this meridian system is peripheral energy system it is superficial onto the skin <clears throat> not deep down and uh it if you see the names of the meridians they are based on the internal organs like kidney meridian heart meridian urinary bladder meridian a uh, brain meridian spine meridian they are always after the organs of the body and this is if you are working on the meridians great you are getting great results but the scenario is still not complete many of you are working on the chakras chakras are the central axis of the body and they uh give uh, our body strength the posture and main uh, the circulate because of their spin the energy is been circulating inside the body and all of you are using 6k and getting wonderful results with these chakras now <clears throat> before i give you the classification of the energy system of the body i would like to draw a picture for you and the picture is like uh suppose i want uh, to build a almira a big almira uh then how i will uh, which the almira should be a uh, lively it should contain some live things inside it which requires electricity so there should be proper current into the almira okay so when i have to build the almira i will prepare its borders first okay this is the peripheral borders and this is also a border of the almira then to give strength to this almira i will put two pillars in the center of the almira two strong pillars to give it uh, and then i will put some nut bolts inside this pillars now what i would love to do is i will put some beautiful things uh like showcase i'm building almira which is like a showcase and i want to put some things some beautiful uh pieces of one piece of heart i want to put one show piece of heart okay one spleen show piece i want to put one liver show piece i want to put okay then i want to put some good show pieces of lungs here okay then some intestine pieces i want to put inside so now this is a beautiful almira which i have made 
and you know uh, uh, this is a live Almira in which these all these uh, show pieces are like working and they're live and breathing so I must supply the energy electricity of prana to them so first this Almira sh should maintain its posture properly so I would supply electricity into the borders okay these borders should contain electricity so I will put electricity into them then this central line central pillars also should have some electricity okay then these pillars also are having electricity here uh, this electricity is flowing in these pillars and then this central nut bolts are also rotating with the electricity okay they are rotating like this 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 is also rotating like this this nut bolts are also very powerful because they give poster to the Almera. okay now this heart also should be given electricity so what i will do i will take uh, some uh, wire and start giving the electricity to this heart right so i will take some electricity from here and start giving to this heart some electricity to this lungs some electricity to the liver okay some electricity to the inter intestines some electricity to the heart so this is what is happening now this almira has now become beautiful and alive this almira has got one uh, central core which is containing nut bolts and one more it has got is to stabilize its three dimensional structure there is one more two pillars are put like this and two pillars are put like this also so this is a sagittal pillar like uh, one pillar is like this one pillar is from back to front and one pillar is like uh, horizontal okay so we have put three pillars uh, the central pillar is containing some nut bolts which are chakras on the vertical meridian then this is this pillar is the frontal core and this pillar is the sagittal core so these are also having uh, there is energy flow inside them okay so what happens what we are doing in six key we are uh, working on these nut bolts which are the central to the body and we are working on these peripheral meridians but what about these cores sometimes there are scoliosis kyphoscoliosis and uh, some postural problems or some congenital problems when you need to work on these pillars okay so this uh, sagittal frontal core these pillars have also you should master them and you know these peripheral meridians this chakras this the central pillars are called as core meridians all these are linked actually uh, this whole is breathing as one this almira is breathing as one and there is a connection between the peripheral meridians to the uh, border these are borders this is also we were not using in six key we will use in diamond so border meridians peripheral meridians and then central meridians which are core meridians they all are breathing as one unit and you need to figure out the connection between all of them okay so this is what you need to find out so this is uh, the almira so i just wanted to make it clear to you that uh, 
uh, we need to broaden our consciousness we need to uh, know about the borders scores and the sometimes there are more chakras also these were the you were talking about the internal chakras then there are some external chakras also like from mouth there is a chakra from my eyes there are chakras so there is these chakras also have to be in the legs also there are chakras in front of the body also there is a chakra here outside which is exchanging the energy from the environment to the body okay <clears throat> so if you look at it uh then this is the classification of the energy system of the body and if we look at it carefully we will come to know that diamond energy system of the human body and its classification the energy system of the human body centrally the diamond energy system is there and it consists of meridians and the chakras the meridians are of two types meridians are the border meridians and the core meridians and the chakras are also ex internal chakras you are working but external chakras you don't know so you will, we will teach you in this seminar then there is peripheral meridian system okay and there are in which it contains hetero meridians that means yang meridians controlling is the gv and the individual are ub small intestine large intestine then there are homo meridians of which controlling is the cv and the individual are like heart lung kidney then there are neutral uh, neutro meridians which are like controlling is the uh, pituitary and the controlling meridians are pituitary and the uh, pineal meridians and then there are individual meridians in the neutral also neutro also there were individual meridians and these are the individual meridians in the neutro which are like thyroid uh, pancreas and pancreas meridian thymus meridian and the adrenal meridian so this is how the energy system of the body is categorized this is the hierarchy hierarchy of the energy system of the human body so you what you need to focus you you need to now master to improve your results is you need to master the borders and the cores and the external chakras plus uh, you need to touch upon some neutral extra meridians so this is how the energy system of the human body is made this is now the beautiful diamond the central axis is having chakras there are external chakras here this is external this is external this is external chakras and in this also actually uh, you are being supplied by the peripheral there are peripheral meridians which are moving with some something is supplying the heart something is supplying the intestine they are coming from the limbs and moving superficially into the skin there are lungs they are also being supplied by the peripheral meridians okay so this is how uh, that design is made right now also in this diamond system actually we have is the border meridians also are present and then cores are also there the vertical core the frontal core the sagittal core so these all have to be worked upon now uh, what about uh, if you look at the earth earth has got two types of axis one is the vertical axis which is the geographical axis uh, here uh, earth spins around this axis okay but 15 degree apart there is uh, the magnetic axis of the earth where the south pole and the north pole are located so the earth has got two axes one is the magnetic axis and other is the geographical axis in the same way human body also has two axes one is the vertical axis of the bai hui and the hui jin which is the vertical axis of the solar diamond so human body has two types of diamond system one is solar diamond system and the other is the lunar diamond system and the lunar diamond system the vertical axis starts from the mouth and goes to the anus so the vertical axis of the lunar diamonds is different from the solar diamond and just to give you some idea that the peripheral meridians which you people are working are actually uh, like kidney spleen liver heart brain lung they are actually part of the lunar diamond the two types of diamond system of the body one is solar diamond and the other is the lunar diamond and the meridians are 
the Chinese meridians are based on the lunar diameter. Okay. So uh, now uh, we move forward and see this is the solar diamond where the vertical axis is this one. But if you look at the lunar diamond, the vertical axis is minus meridian, mouth to anus. It is little, uh, not vertical, little 15 degree apart, right? So you need to know how to approach the solar diamond system and how to approach the vertical diamond system. Uh, then we have uh, chakras, internal chakras, which are located in the solar internal chakras. These are located around the vertical axis of the solar diamond where this is the uh, top is the uh, Sahasradhara, then there is Ajna, then there is uh, Vishuddha, Anahata, Solar, and then there is Manipura, Swadhisthana, Muladhara, and the Kundalani Chakra. In the same way, Lunar Diamond also has got chakras. This is the central lunar chakra, and you'll see here, this is the upper solar chakra. So solar chakra was involved uh, on this side, right side. Now we are talking about the lunar diamond and lunar diamond also has got chakras around its vertical axis like mouth chakra of the lunar diamond is the wind chakra and then stomach chakra is the heat duodenal chakra is the hotness uh, then there is lunar chakra which is brightness and small intestine chakra is humidity and the rectum chakra is coolness and the cecum and appendix is the dryness chakras so these are the vertical chakras of the lunar diamond right so you need to how to address this also will be taught in our lectures okay of diamond system now all of you know that uh, I, I because you have attended my earlier lectures that how the earth evolved that from the zero world from the creator came a heterophos which wanted to go out and created sanded upon another force homo which wanted to blue color force which wanted to take this uh, force back to the zero world and there was a coal between them and then creator sanded a referee force in the spiral way which was the neutro and when this neutro was born the fight of the hetero and homo was stopped and creator was smiling and the smile was born and this neutral force later manifested onto the mother earth for in the form of eight energies or the six energies okay so now the thing is uh, our intelligence uh, we uh, always want to know uh, the basic of the geometry of the human body like uh, something like which is similar uh, we want to study how the body started to manifest like how human body started how amoeba came what is the basic unit behind of my body like my physical body uh, is made up of uh, uh, the bones, muscles, and then uh, cartilage and nerves and arteries. But what is the basic unit? Like my body is like a pyramid or you can say octahedron. But still, what is the basic unit behind the, all the existences? Like we have so many shapes in the world. If you see, there are fishes, there are pangolins, there are lions, there is some trees, there are some uh fruits there is octopus there is uh chicken and starfish there's so many animals and plants and the material like stones gems how many so many things are there but behind them all behind all this there's uh, origin from where something started and if i am able to figure out the origin i can solve any issue right so i want to know what is the basic unit behind all this existence of living in the non-living world which is something here they are saying is pre-cambrian stage i want to know that what is the basic unit of the geometry behind these all right so if you see the human body what has happened is from a point some arrows came and made the vertical axis which was the hetero and the second arrow was like frontal and then when third arrow came so smallest arrow if you see carefully is the this one uh, i will draw for you this is the smallest of them you see carefully this is the smallest this is the largest
and this one is medium okay so the vertical becomes hetero the sagittal this becomes homo and the frontal becomes neutro because it is in between at the same time these are the core meridians to everything and if you see at the border carefully the there are three borders actually here one border is this one see this is the side border meridian okay then there is a central border meridian at the front and the back okay and then there was a diaphragmatic diaphragmatic border meridian okay this meridian so there are three border meridians and if you see carefully the biggest border meridian is the side meridian and because it has got the biggest so it should be hetero and because of its hetero properties only around this meridian only around this meridian the organs are uh, the, the limbs have evolved like arms and the legs have come through this this border meridian which means that uh, uh, this is the hetero means nature of this meridian which is causing the evolution of uh, limbs which do a lot of activity and dynamicity and which is the homo among them is the shortest around which there is no development actually and this is the diaphragmatic border meridian and around the neutro which is the central border meridian there is some activity like some nose is developed mouth is developed mammary glands are developed so this is neutro okay so around this there is some activity so what could have happened uh, we want to trace the origins of the human body and uh, we are trying to figure out what is behind all of them and something like these all are three dimensional okay all the uh, all the creation in this world whether uh, it is a uh, living creatures uh, like uh, animals mammals or the man or the female and the non-living creatures like tables coolers acs trees fruits all everything is three-dimensional three-dimensional means it should have three axes and the three axes are always the vertical frontal and the sagittal so uh, what is the basic uh, thing which is repeating itself here what is the basic thing of which it is made up of you can say they are made up of uh, cells uh, at the at the level of the biology and cells are made up of atoms and atoms are made up of protons electrons and the neutrons so that is at the level of the biology but at the level of the energy if you say carefully all these uh, uh, have some basic geometrical shape which is repeating repeatedly if repeatedly repeatedly and if you look at the what are the basic geometrical shapes in the world is uh, some of the basic shapes is tetrahedron hexahedron octahedron uh, this is doca dodecahedron and icosahedron and if you see carefully out of these basic symmetries like cube triangle then um, octahedron which is the this is not a triangle this is a tetrahedron if something should be very symmetrical because if you see my body if you see my body my body is symmetrical like what is here is here many things are symmetrical in my body so something very symmetrical must have manifested at the basic level and that thing is dividing dividing and dividing again creating the uh, human beautiful human body so we have we should figure out that what is happening and if you see that this tetrahedron uh, not much uh, physical division like symmetrical divisions cannot happen here because uh, it, it is impossible uh, to have something symmetrical here but if you see at the uh, cube something very very uh, symmetrical can happen like if I divide it like this Again, there are four cubes and again, if I divide it like this, again, there are four cubes. Same way is with the octahedron also. If uh, I divide here, I will show you uh, in my presentation now that you see, uh, if you see this cube, it is dividing 
okay it can divide up to any level still the symmetry will be maintained and if you look at the octahedron it can also be divided into equal shapes okay and this uh, one octahedron is made up of eight tetrahedrons this is tetrahedron 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 and these all when joined together they make octahedron so octahedron can be divided into eight tetrahedrons very very symmetrically and each tetrahedron then which is means this unit also actually can divide further symmetrically into as many as like this each unit is dividing more and more symmetrically this octahedron this there is octahedron there is octahedron there is octahedron so symmetrically you can divide this octahedron into many 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 like units countless units still the division will continue and it will be absolutely symmetrical so we come to the conclusion that cube and octahedrons are the two basic structures which are fundamental to the geometry of our body and if i have to choose out of them one that whether cube has manifested as the basic geometrical structure of our bodies or uh, non-living things or octahedron has manifested then you will see out of cube and octahedron which has got protrusions there are this is symmetrical absolute symmetrical there are no protrusions but this has got protrusion here like my nose is protruding out from my uh, mm, mouth and uh, females have breasts which are protruding out from the chest and then there is a coccyx bone which is protruding out from the back and their genitals which are protruding back there were ears which are protruding out of the body which means something like protrusions protrusions are not there in the cube protrusions are there in the octahedron hence we prove that the basic geometrical structure behind all the existences is octahedron and this is you know octahedron is the shape of the diamond and you know diamond is the rarest uh, phenomena which has been manifesting on mother earth and uh, this diamond has got a lot of preservance inside it you know pyramids are made diamond shaped they preserve the mummies inside them and our bodies are also containing the basic tetra basic octahedron that's why our way our bodies have been preserved for 100 years like we live and there's not no damage if we are healthy no damage is happening to our body so which means octahedron has manifested as the basic structure in all the existences all the existences so that's why you need to study this octahedron hence you need to study diamond system This is the eight origins of the diamond system. Malaha, Am, Sam, Om, Om, Wind, Heat, Hotness, Humidity, Dryness and Coldness, which we will teach you in our lectures. This is how the beautiful diamond has manifested. Border meridians, core meridians, chakras, external chakras. Now you look at this diagram. This is a closer look at the three cores. And you know, this is the vertical core. This is the sagittal core and this is the frontal core and each core also has four subdivisions inside it. That is the vertical front, vertical front core, vertical back core, vertical left core, vertical right core. Similarly in the frontal also, frontal, front core, frontal back core, frontal up core frontal lower core there also this also we will teach you in our how if out of these four if any one core is in, involved then the disease may be manifesting for example when the vertical back core meridian is involved uh, you will have back pain issues so suppose your back pain is not getting solved from the triple warmer that is spine meridian or by the gv meridian then you can work on this vertical back core meridian this is the external chakras of the uh, diamond system of the uh, central body and you know 
there is a diamond also which we will be discussing which there is also a diamond of the head also head has got its separate uh, diamond system which is also very important to learn and then this leg this arm also has its own diamond system okay this leg also has its own diamond system so all the diamonds are important like central body diamond is important uh, the leg diamond is important and they have their own roles and uh, are very useful in treating many congenital or difficult cases so if you have a proper knowledge of the central body diamond then head diamond then you can cure any disease very easily okay now actually this vertical core if you look carefully in india the left uh, <coughs> the right core is called as pingala and the left core is called as the ingla ingla pingala and then there is a sushumna nadi which have been discussed <coughs> in which we will discuss in our lectures so vertical core is very important and has been given a lot of importance in india then there are border meridians front 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 central border back central border side left right side border left side border then diaphragmatic meridians okay and this is the vertical axis of the body it is uh, during this active when this axis is active is active you will do a lot of hetero activity so this axis is the largest one and it is the hetero and uh, <coughs> this one is the sagittal axis and this is the homo uh, homo meridian homo uh, axis because you will be lying down and sleeping and you will be sitting with the frontal or lying down on the side with the frontal and this actually is the neutral axis and just to tell you that the longest the axis the hetero is the manifestation so if you see carefully out of these three where the divisions in the i am talking about not the borders i am talking about the cores so if you look at these three cores this core is the biggest which is the hetero and only around this core the maximum development of the eyes the nose the genitals and mammary glands have happened and if you look carefully here this is the border meridian which is the largest one this is the side border meridian and around it only the limbs have developed if you look at the tortoise tortoise has got its this uh, this is the side border meridian of the tortoise and around this only limbs have developed because this is hetero if you look at the starfish also this is also this is the side border meridian around which the development will happen if you look at this cockroach or uh, spider uh, this also around this limbs will develop because hetero characteristics of this border meridian yeah, but in the case of fish the central board not the side but the central border meridian is the largest one and so around this only the wings will develop because only around hetero the diversity can happen here also this is the largest one and this is central not the side so but here you see the side border meridian is more developed here also the side border meridian is more developed so wherever whichever the border meridian is the high is the hetero having the hetero characteristics only around that border meridian the diversification will happen and around the central axis also which has been the longest and carrying the hetero characteristics only around that axis the maximum development will happen now uh, if you see this is the energy breathing mechanism of the body where how we will teach you how agni solar and the core solar work together and the body breathes as a pulsating unit in the solar chakra once you know this your healing techniques will improve a lot and you know any division any hierarchy any uh, system like the diamond or maybe the peripheral meridian or maybe 
like a building like reliance system or maybe samsung system they always have a tendency that to evolve from the absolute homo like neuto to there will be eight origins and these eight origins then further this will again give rise to eight more so there is always uh, a tendency of the trial region and the six key forces to evolve 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 and evolve so this evolution always continues and the one diamond system evolves to make this diamond system develops 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 to one to two diamond two to four diamond four to eight diamond and the interactions are so many among the diamond forces and from one diamond becomes the double diamond structure this double diamond also is a very important to study because this double diamond actually because of the double diamond if you see carefully because of this double diamond only the you know the there is a in the front there is a the mid clavicular lines you see mid clavicular lines are actually uh, the mid clavicular lines are from this is the clavicle this is the central line and mid clavicular line is here and it is only around this mid clavicular lines the nipples and the mammary glands of the females will develop and behind back is the mid scapular line where the protuberances of the scapula in your scapula you know and the shoulder blade there are some protuberances those protuberances have only evolved because of and if you see there are buttocks buttocks also have got some protuberances a coccyx bone also have some protuberances and genitals also have some protuberances so all these protuberances secondary protuberances actually are developed because of the development of the double diamond uh, one diamond evolves into the two diamond and then uh, the two diamond structure actually evolves into four diamond structure okay this is the double diamond evolution uh, there is uh, this is the vertical core and with this is also little 15 degree divisions are there so we have in the double diamond four to eight cores eight to 16 then in the four then this is the detailed structure of the vertical core meridian and this also we have to learn and uh, this is double diamond and from different views viewpoints okay you can see protuberance is coming like this double diamond. then this is the development of the third stage or development of the four diamond system so diamond keeps evolving and evolving and as the diamond keeps evolving it evolves so much from one to two diamond two diamond to four diamond four diamond to eight uh, 16 diamond and uh, core meridians and the energy gates keep evolving keep evolving and finally a finer meshwork of the diamonds has been uh, made around whole body around whole body around whole body and you have to understand one more thing like when this was a single diamond okay when this was a single diamond at that moment of time actually the energy around these lines was very concentrated because this is a single diamond system so it is a very concentrated energy which is flowing around these lines but once these lines divide they divide they divide they divide the energy starts uh, dividing like the intensity of the energy is now dividing and the intensity among these lines now gets lower this is lower intensity lines compared to that one and this one is again more lower intensity compared to uh, before ones and this one is very low intensity and finally when the meshwork is there uh, which is of the diamond the very low intensity energy is flowing everywhere in every every pore of our body and remember if you learn the single diamond system only the influence of the energy will be so powerful that you can create big changes in the body in one night right so uh, this is the importance of the single diamond system very concentrated energy is flowing in this single diamond 
so this diamond single diamond is utmost importance for our learning and final quotes of professor park j wu i just i will read for you look at these lines diamond is the rarest in occurrence and most precious stone on earth those who own it are thought to be lucky and powerful in material level we all of us do have inherently been endowed by nature with the metaphysical diamond residing in us in this respect we are all standing intrinsically blessed rich happy strong and quite self sustained in our potentialities to withstand any untoward situation the adequate understanding and the capacity to turn this charisma to proper use will allow the people to live longer lives and improve their quality of life beautiful words by professor park ji so friends this is what i wanted to uh, introduce to you uh, the importance of the diamond system why all of you should learn it will increase your healing capacity uh, you will blossom your practice will blossom your results will increase improve and people will get healed and diamond is one of the most powerful acupuncture ever developed by any scientist or philosopher no match for the diamond energy system so see you all in our lectures uh happy diamond journey guys happy learning and my best wishes keep in touch the next lecture is on next week bye bye smiles thanks to professor pak jeevan we feel blessed